A newer operation that was approved by the FDA in 2001 is called adjustable gastric banding. So uh, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, this muscle is called the pylorus. The band is like a belt that goes around and behind the upper part of the stomach and buckles. And on the inside of that belt is a balloon that wraps the inside of the belt, kind of like a, they glued a tire inner tube to the inside of the belt. It's attached to a tube which goes to a port. The port is like a port used for chemotherapy or long-term antibiotics under the skin. You just have to stick this little chamber instead of having to put it into the vein each time. But instead of being up here, we put it in your abdominal wall. You know those muscles like the weightlifters have, the six-pack, the real strong muscles that run up the center of the abdomen? There's a real strong tendon on top of that muscle, and we sew it to that tendon. And that's deep to the skin and fat, and we always keep a little fat up here. And it's hard to see it. It's even hard to find it sometimes. If I have you lay down on an exam table and raise your head and shoulders off the mat, that tightens the muscles, and then I can feel it. And then I can stick it with a needle and a syringe and add water. And as I add water to the port, the balloon on the inside of the band starts to fill. And as the balloon gets bigger, the opening through the middle gets smaller. Right? So here's what one looks like. This is a model of a stomach. It sits right about here in your body. Um, and the band comes as a straight piece with a buckling mechanism and it goes on the very upper part of the stomach so there's just a very little bit of stomach above the band and this is the tubing and this is the port and the port goes right about here in your abdominal wall the center of the port is a soft plastic that's what the needle goes through Okay. If we replace the port with a syringe, you can see that as I add to here and the balloon fills, the opening through the middle gets smaller. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, so we put it in. It's a real operation. It involves a general anesthetic. You have to come in the hospital, get put to sleep, um, pass the band behind the stomach, buckle the band, set up the port, close the little skin wound here. It takes about half an hour. About two or three hours after surgery, we do an x-ray, have you drink some stuff, we're watching it go through, looking to make sure that the band is sitting correctly and that what you drink goes through and that there is no problem in this area. Start you on sips of water, popsicles, jello, most people go home that afternoon. So if we do it in the morning, you go home in the afternoon. If we do it in the afternoon, you go home in the evening. If you live six hours away, we'll probably keep you overnight. At two weeks, we do a little wound check to make sure everything's healing okay. Six weeks, we do our first fill. Then we bring you back about once a month, adding to the port until we get the band adjusted just right for you. And just right doesn't matter how much volume is in there. It matters how you feel about food. When the band is just right, a small meal makes you full, your appetite is suppressed, you're losing one to two pounds a week. That's when it's just right. Okay, if you're starving, you feel like you're on a diet, you're thinking about food all the time, we need to keep adding. If you can eat as much as I can eat, we need to keep adding. And it takes six or seven visits to get it there. Some people three, some people ten, but if you look at a thousand patients, 6.5 visits. And once we get it where the band is, is helping you and your weight's starting to come down and your meals are small and your appetite is suppressed, then we start to spread out the visits. And then I'll see you in three months. And then I'll see you in six months. And usually once or twice a year we have to do something with the band. Again, depending on how you're feeling about food. You know, you're noticing that uh, uh, my appetite's back. I'm hungry all the time now. We need to add a little bit more. Uh, my meals are getting bigger. I stopped losing weight. We need to add a little bit more. Um, I used to build homes for a living. Now I'm sitting behind a desk all day. I'm starting to pick up some weight. Maybe we'll put a little bit more in that band. Uh, I used to sit behind a desk all day. Now I have a mail route, and I'm walking eight miles a day. Maybe we could take a little out. Uh, I've decided to become a world-class marathoner, and now I run 80 miles a week. This hasn't happened yet. But if it did, we could probably, you know, we might even be able to empty the band. You know, it really depends on, you know, because your behavior has changed. Your exercise, your, you know, energy expenditure has really changed. So, you know, the, uh, the band is adjustable in that way, and that's kind of nice. Uh, but that's how the band works. When it's adjusted correctly, your appetite is suppressed, your meals are small um, to help you control your weight.